basic. The first thing that they do is shave your head and scream into your face until you drop the pleasant fiction that had been your life. More quickly than you would have guessed, you learn obedience to shut your mouth and do what you are told, that you survive by virtue of compliance, shutting down. When they scream, drop for 20, then you drop. If wobbly from lack of sleep, you're told to sit up half the night and strip your M1 down, that's what you do. You strip it down. The only insubordinations in your eyes that can't accept the order not to close. Your combat boots kept so compulsively spit-shined you see your face in both hard toes, skin to the scalp, pathetically distorted, not unrecognizable, but not quite you. A self that marches dutifully through sleet and has perfected the low crawl. One gray morning, in the second week of basic training, lacing up his boots, that shy, phlegmatic, red-haired boy who bunked above me whispered, Steve, I don't believe I'm going to make it. No way, man. You're doing fine. Hey, look, come on. We're late. And shrugged him off to race out just in time to make formation in the mist of that Kentucky morning. He was right. He didn't. He took a razor blade that night and crawling underneath the barracks slashed his throat. What little of myself I saved in there, I saved by tiny gestures of defiance. Instead of screaming kill, I plunged my bayonet into that dummy screaming quill, nil. At rifle drill, I'd hum the international and fire 50 feet above the target. I kept dexedrines in my fatigues, took heart from the seditious drollery of Sergeant May, that L.A. homeboy with the black goatee, all hip panache and grace, that bop salute and smart-ass version of left face, and sometimes from his cadre room at night, the wailing blues of Ray Charles drifted through the barracks, and I'd lie there in the dark, awake, remembering that other life that I had left behind, and it was Sergeant May and Ray Charles and Dexedrine that got me through. Had I been more courageous, less the terrified recruit who did what he was told, I would have hung back with that boy and argued with him, said whatever needed saying or at least have heard him, just listened or let someone know or somehow God knows saved him. But I wasn't and I didn't. I was just a kid myself. For all my revolutionary rhetoric, I shut my eyes and ears when shutting of the eyes and ears was politic. When they said, strip your M1 down, I stripped it down. When they said, march, I marched. That's the story of my career in the Army in basic training.